When a game developer tries out a different or interesting control scheme, it can actually be a great thing, or it can end up failing miserably. And there's a new game that tries to do just that called Rolling Bob, now available on PS4. But does Rolling Bob roll into our gaming hearts, or should Rolling Bob just roll off a cliff? In Rolling Bob, you're playing as a small robot who is rolling his way through a series of levels, collecting different items, saving his fellow robots who have been captured, and trying to do his best to survive all the perils within each stage. While in general, it's nothing we haven't seen before. There's plenty of different spike traps, pits to fall into, and pretty much everything that wants to try to take your character out. It's when it comes to the controls, though, that makes this game stand out. The overall button scheme is very minimal. You have L2 the brake, R2 the go forward, though your character is always moving forward unless you hold down the brake button. You then use X though to draw the paths for your characters via a cursor on screen. The big thing with the game though is the way you control the cursor. Very similarly to what Nintendo did with Kirby's Canvas Curse and Kirby's Rainbow Curse, you are drawing paths via a cursor to allow your character to traverse areas, block off hazards, and draw lines over pits so that your character is able to keep moving forward. The thing is though, instead of using a stylus on a touchscreen, you have to use the controller to actually move the cursor around. But instead of using a joystick to move the cursor around, Unfortunately, you have to use motion control, tilting the controller in all different directions in order to get the cursor to go. This ends up leading to some of the most frustrating gameplay I've ever had in a game on the PS4. Well, at first it seems like an interesting way to do things, but soon you'll find yourself getting extremely frustrated trying to draw the lines the way you want them to, the controller not moving the cursor in the direction that you need it to, even though you're slightly just tilting it in the direction it should be going, but also the character itself consistently messing up on the drawn paths, clipping them by just a little bit falling through, clipping an edge and turning around at the most inopportune moments, or overall things just not working working at all. The goal in each level though is very simple, just get to the end of the stage and collect as much stuff as you can. There's plenty of checkpoints along the way so that you're able to save your progress. If you die, you go back to the previous checkpoint, and there's going to be some checkpoints you're going to be going back to over and over and over again because you're just going to end up failing at the same exact spots trying to get the pass to draw the way you want. Sometimes you know exactly what you need to do, it's a very simple line you're trying to draw, but the controller just doesn't want to work with you. The game features three different worlds with plenty of levels in each, and each one will provide a lot of frustrating, challenging moments, that is for sure. This is the kind of game I know there will be some out there that get into this kind of control. They like motion control, they like the idea of something a little bit different, and may gravitate toward this game for sure. For someone like me, if I could have just controlled the game using one of the joysticks to move the cursor around, I would have had a lot of fun with this title. Overall, everything else in the game is perfectly acceptable. There's some decent sound, though it's nothing special, as well as the graphics are okay. I like some of the character designs. The overall kind of aesthetic to everything is pretty decent, even though it kind of reminds me a bit of Muddy Number no. 9. Maybe that's just Rolling Bob's blue helmet appearance to him. From the technical side of things, the game ran smoothly, though. I didn't run any major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. Really, it just comes down to whether or not you like the controls in the end. Rolling Bob is available now on the PS4 for $14.99. It does feature a full trophy list, including a platinum. Overall, though, there's going to be some that do enjoy this game. Using the gyroscope in the controller is a neat idea. I just wish there was an alternative control scheme to allow me to enjoy the game without pulling my hair out while playing. For me, though, with everything said, I'm going to be giving Rolling Bob a 4 out of 10. But anyway, guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I... Hope you enjoyed.